Again tonight, continuing our coverage into the loss of one of our first responders, Officer Kyle Hicks of the Corpus Christi Police Department. It was announced by the department late this afternoon that Officer Hicks had died. That loss being felt not just here in our community, but by several others across South Texas and beyond. So tonight here is a live look outside the police department headquarters there on John Sartain Street in downtown Corpus Christi. As you can see here, a police unit symbolically parked outside of the station in honor of the two year veteran of the police force. As you can see, flowers have been placed atop the vehicle. Community members are outside paying their respects. Officer Hicks leaves behind a wife and four children. Over the last several days, we've seen a tremendous amount of support pouring in for the officer and his family, something that will likely remain unwavering during the difficult days ahead. It was around 1230 last Saturday morning when Officer Hicks and other police officers responded to a domestic disturbance at a Southside apartment complex. Hicks was shot by the suspect. That man was killed when the other officers returned fire. Hicks has been in the hospital ever since. The news of his passing came in late this afternoon. Hicks is the first CCPD officer to be shot and killed in the line of duty since 1987. City of Corpus Christi Mayor Paulette Guajardo speaking with us about Officer Hicks tonight, asking the community to pray for his parents, wife and children, as well as the department. She also talked about the responsibility that those with the badge bear each day. Don't underestimate the importance of every single officer that you see on the street. One call and they can encounter absolutely anything on the other side of that call. So appreciate them, be grateful for them, and remember that it is they who protect us every single day. And it is their families who don't know. They have no guarantee that they are gonna come home every night or every day. Now, over the last several hours, words of support and messages for the officers, loved ones and department flooding in over social media from elected officials, fellow law enforcement agencies coming in from across the Coastal Bend region, as well as other parts of, the, of Texas and even out of state. The family tonight is asking for prayers and privacy. Services have not yet been announced. Since the shooting happened, a GoFundMe had been set up to help the Hicks family, and to this point, that help is not slowed. However, tonight, that GoFundMe now reads in honor of Kyle Hicks. A somber message sharing in part, quote, we mourn the loss of a great husband, father, son, friend, and co-worker. At this hour, donations continue to come in in support of his family, currently at over $89,000.